Hey, this is Victor Antonio, and welcome to another episode of The Victor Report. Today, I got a great question from one of my international YouTube subscribers. And by the way, if you're not subscribed, you should be. And to my international community, thank you. Love you guys. Keep having keep those questions coming in. Now, uh, this one's interesting. It says, Smita uh, says, Sir, thanks for uploading these training videos. I hate when they call me sir. Uh, it will definitely help us a lot. I wanted to ask one thing. Sometimes during the sales process, no matter how many open-ended questions you ask, they, the customer, rarely answers. So how do you deal with it? See, prospecting the customer means we have to analyze their paying capacity. Is there something else we need to do? Now, uh, this is interesting. Several things are in here. One is that they're asking a lot of open-ended questions and the customer is not answering but they also have to determine the person or the client's paying capacity. In other words, can they afford the product or service, right? So this is tricky stuff. Now, uh, just sales basics. I, you may know this already, but let's go through it anyway. An open-ended question is a question that asks you for more information. A closed-ended question is typically a one-word answer. Uh, do you like honey? Yes or no? Closed-ended. Tell me your thoughts about honey. Open-ended questions. See that? A lot of information. One confirms information, one gathers information. She's talking about gathering information, asking open-ended questions. Tell me about your childhood. Tell me how you got in that position. Tell me why you chose that computer. Tell me why you chose that product. Get the idea? These are open-ended questions that are what? All about pulling in information. So I responded to Smita as follows. I said, Smita, without knowing more, I would be very careful against asking too many open-ended questions. It will feel like an interrogation to the client and they'll stop answering. See, if all you're doing is asking questions all the time, it feels like an interrogation. It's not a conversation, which is what we really want. So be careful. I would spread out my open-ended uh, questions throughout the conversation. So I would ask you an open-ended question and then we would talk about it. You know, I'll say, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself growing up. The person tells me about themselves growing up. And then here's where you can share some, yeah, mine was very similar. In fact, when I grew up in Chicago, I went through some of the similar things that you've gone through. Isn't that interesting? But notice I didn't jump into a question right away. I shared personal experience because I'm trying to create a dialogue, right? A conversation. So again, spread out your open-ended conversation. I said, also following, I said, so not compelling. I said, or maybe the questions you're asking them will put them in an embarrassing situation where they don't want to admit or share information. Remember, Samita, you're trying to get information on whether they can afford your product. And sometimes people don't want to admit that they can't afford your product. So aside from asking open-ended questions and spreading them out, build that conversation, build that trust so they'll be able to share that information, maybe admit to you that they can't afford a certain product. But also think about how you're asking the question. Let me give you an example. Let's say you don't want to ask somebody, uh, can you afford that? Um, you want to, here's an example of phrasing the conversation, the question in such a way that's a little softer. For example, you can ask the customer, how do you intend to pay for this? Well, that's kind of, uh, it's a little hard, right? How do you intend to pay for this? First of all, how can you afford it? Ooh, too hard. How do you intend to pay for this? Not as hard, but not as soft either. You may want to try something like this. How do you intend to finance this purchase? Oh, that's a nice way of putting it. How do you intend to finance this purchase? And then let the person tell you. Is it going to be cash, credit, layaway plan, whatever it may be. But see, soften the questions a little bit. So, again, spread out your open-ended questions, but also soften the questions in such a way that the customer won't feel embarrassed answering your questions. Hope that helps meet up. This is Victor Antonio with another episode of the Victor Report. We will see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.